Okay, so my topic is on corneal implants and mainly the camera in me. So Jill is just like a normal woman walking through her office building um, when one of her coworkers is rushing to get to his business meeting. Um, she, he bumps into her and she drops her glasses and her vision becomes blurry right away. Um, and she doesn't get her clear vision back until she puts her glasses on again. So if Jill had a corneal implant, this wouldn't be a problem. Scientists have created corneal inlay products, which are um, things that are surgically put into your eye to make your vision better. Um, there are three companies that are being, under, being put under review right now by the Food and Drug Administration so that they can come to the US. Um, even though this hasn't happened to me, I haven't dropped my glasses because I don't have glasses. I have seen this happen before to people who drop their glasses and they can't see clearly for a second. And I'm sure many of you have seen that happen to you or this is gonna happen to you. Um, so learning about corneal implants will help us better understand the new procedures that may come to the USA. First, I will talk about the background of corneal inlays and then I will talk about the pros and cons, and lastly, I will talk about the implications of it coming to the USA. So, corneal implants are for people with presbyopia. Presbyopia is, when, is the gradual loss of your eye's ability to focus on near objects. So many people will notice this when they're in their 40s, and it, they continue to lose their near vision until they're about 65. So that's like normally, like our parents will have reading glasses because they're, they're losing their near vision. Um, so there are many causes to getting presbyopia. Mainly it's just age, our eyes just start to lose their near vision. But there are also other causes that can make people have it prematurely, such as diabetes and multiple, multiple sclerosis. So right now corneal, Inlays are available in other places such as um, South Africa, Asia, and Europe, but um, the main one that is being reviewed by the FDA right now is the camera inlay. So um, in an article for National Public Radio published on October 27, 2014, Patty Naiman describes camera as a flexible donut-shaped ring that is surgically inserted into the eye and it creates a sort of artificial pupil. So surgeons will cut a small incision onto your cornea and then place the ring, and um, it immediately makes you see better. It um, improves your near vision. So now that I've told you about the background of corneal implants, I will talk about the pros and cons. So the main pro that's obvious is that it works for most people. They immediately can see better, um, so that's the good thing. And also, um, they won't need glasses or contact lenses anymore. They can just get out of bed in the morning and they'll see perfectly fine for their day. They won't have to look for their glasses or struggle and to put on their contact lenses. They'll, they're perfectly fine for the day. Um, the last good pro is that um, it's removable. So if you don't like it, you can just take it out and then you'll have your regular eyes back. But, Obviously, this means that if it's removable, then that means that some people don't like it. So the main con is that, well, Susan Scuddy stated in an article published on Medical Daily on October 21st, 2014, that among the side effects, some patients experience haziness. So that would mean that for some patients, it didn't even work for them. It made their eyesight worse. So, um, even after it was removed, they still had hazy vision and there was a buildup of um, like liquid in their cornea. So that's why the FDA is unsure of bringing it to the US because it could be unsafe. So now that I've told you about the pros and cons and the background info, I'll talk about the implications. So the first obvious implication is that the sale of glasses might go down um, with people having um, their, um, this surgically um, put inlay on their eye, they won't need glasses. So we don't know how big that effect could be. People could lose jobs and the companies that make glasses might be like losing a lot of money. And um, 
like stores might even go out of business that sell glasses. We, we're not sure how big this effect could be. The second implication is that with this new uh, procedure, doctors will have to learn how to do this. And with the surgeries that doctors already do and they've been doing for years, they still make mistakes. So with this new procedure, there might be a lot of mistakes for um, patients. Like they might lose their eyes or their eyesight. So that's really scary for people to want to do this new procedure. Um, the last implication is that it'll probably be very costly. All About Vision website published on October 2nd, 2014, that the average laser vision correction in 2013 was $2,000, $2,073. So we can assume that the camera inlay will be about the same price. So not everyone could even afford this if we did have it in the US. So now that I've told you about the background info, the pros and cons, and the implications, we can wrap this up. So it is important to discuss this procedure to better understand what the FDA is considering to bring to America. Um, the camera inlay is a surgically implanted ring that is put on your cornea to um, improve near vision. And there are many pros and cons and implications. So should Jill get the camera inlay, will it help or will it hinder her?